Hey guys, welcome to a really quick review from Player.net. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Extreme Trio. I say review, this is more just a, I've unboxed it and these are my thoughts on the product thus far. Now, I walk make a bunch of stuff. Um, today I'm going to be taking a look at the Extreme Trio Ultra Slim Battery. Um, now this thing is really slim. Um, I mean, if I get a, if I get a measuring... It is like super slim. It's like a centimeter deep. Ooh. It's like less than a centimeter deep. So, you know, this is a super slim battery, um, especially when we compare it to other products like the Jackery Giant, which I will show you in a second, which is like huge in comparison. I mean, look at that. So, what does this product have going for it? Well, it is a 10,000 mAh battery. Um, you get this cool little LED screen, which tells you kind of how much power is in the device, um, which obviously changes when you charge devices that will go down. Um, on either side, you get a, well, you get a lightning cable on one side, and you get a generic mini USB on the other side. You also get this um, output for a USB here, so you can plug in any type of cable, and you also have an input there. Now, obviously batteries are batteries, they charge things, um, so what's unique about the iWalk battery? Well, first of all, it's super slim. Uh, it is like super slim, you could like stack 10 of these and stick them in your backpack and not even realize they were there. Obviously, this is designed for the iPhone and the iPad, hence having a lightning cable. Now, 10,000 mAh is quite a bit of battery power. Um, it's not quite as much as the Jackery Giant Plus, which is like a 1,200 mAh product. But, you know, 10,000 is a lot. Now, they quote that this will charge an iPhone 5S 4.5 times and a Samsung Galaxy S5 2.5 times and an iPad Air 0.8 times. Um... Now, obviously with battery packs, um, you will lose kind of, they say it's about 30% through the conversion process of basically discharging the battery and charging the device. Um, so this is something to take into account. A 10,000 mAh battery might not always be 10,000 mAh, it may be sort of 7,000 or 8,000. Um, and obviously devices like the iPad Air actually have like a 10,000 mAh battery inside it, um, often bigger. So, when buying a uh, kind of battery, make sure you check the actual battery that you're using in your phone or your device to kind of gauge how much or what battery you're going to need. Um, personally speaking, a 4400, a 4400 mAh battery is good for the general kind of I need to charge up my phone maybe one and a bit times. Um, if you're looking for something a bit more, you're always on the road. Um, or, you know, you're going traveling and you want some serious power then yeah, 10,000 mAh plus is the only way to go. Um, now, the cool thing about the iWalk battery is obviously it has an LCD screen, which is something I love. Um, I like to know how much power is in the device. The Jackery Giant, for instance, just kind of gives you these LED lights, which isn't bad, but um, at the end of the day, it's, it feels like um, you know they could have done more, but price range is completely different. Now, this is one of those batteries that does have, I think it's a 2 amp output. Dun, 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 dun. Well, they actually say that this can run up to 2.4 amp, which is a huge amount. Is that right? So yeah, you're looking at 0.5 to 2.4 amps um, through all of the charging devices. Now, one thing that really sells this product for me already is the addition of pass-through charging. Um, and if you don't know what pass-through charging is, it's basically being able to charge the device while charging other devices. Um, so you can plug this into a wall socket, let it charge up nicely, but also be charging um, an iPad, um, um, another battery if you really wanted, um, and maybe also your iPhone. Um, yeah, you could just keep daisy-chaining these charges off of each other. Um, but you know, so it supports a really high power output. And why would that be good for you? Well, if you've ever used a one amp charging slot on a battery, um, it can take a while. Um, 
I mean, it's like you'll be sitting there for a few hours before it's charged. Something like this will charge your phone reasonably quick. Um, something bigger than that, like an iPad, um, obviously is going to be a different matter. Um, you always have to gauge on the actual capacity of the device you're charging as to typical charge times. Um, so yeah, basically for the iWalk Cherry battery, you're getting a 10,000 mAh battery, you're getting stupidly fast kind of output power, you're getting this cool little LCD screen that lets you know what's going on, and you can also charge it whilst charging other devices, which is something a lot of uh, batteries don't do. So, go check out the review on the website. Um, this is kind of just my thoughts on it, it isn't a finished review. Um, so go check that out if you uh, want to find out more. If you're perhaps maybe, this is a high-end product, um, I'm pretty sure it's £60, £70. If you're perhaps looking for something a bit cheaper um, and you're already kind of put off by the, the price tag of the product, um, I can recommend the Jackery Giant Plus. Um, pretty much it is the best battery in my opinion at the moment. Um, that's about £30 of a 12,000 mAh battery capacity. It supports 2.1 amp out and a 1 amp out and it also has a torch and you can charge it and it charges stuff it doesn't support pass through charging though so that's all for today guys um go check out player.net and i hope you enjoyed this kind of quick video that probably didn't turn out quick because i like to talk a lot but speak soon slash hope you read my reviews soon <laughs>